she's in a, in a good place with her job. Everything's moving along with the movie. She's frustrated with Jenny, and it's like an ongoing frustration, but she's in a good position in her job, and she's trying to sort of clean up the mess that was made with Jenny in the movie and the finagling and all of that. And um, she's, you know, fighting with that, but she's probably in kind of a lonely place because she's around Jody and Bet and the group a lot. She's reunited with her friends, which is good, but she's starting to date, which is a nightmare. I think it's it's um, very subtle, but I think it's, it's any dynamic when you have um, parents that are split and now they've branched into other relationships. And Tina has to really respect Jody and Bette's relationship because now Jody is, has a relationship with her daughter. Mm -hmm. And um, and Jody's good with her daughter. Mm -hmm. So I, it's, yeah. I think uh, she's in a place where I think she's starting to move forward a little bit. Well, I, I think the difference between this season and last season, or maybe even the past seasons, is I think there's a lot more humor. And it's really, really funny. And I think you are starting to see characters in different environments. And you see my character in the film industry, and you see my character with Jenny, and how they, uh, you know, we expand on that relationship and the frustration of that relationship. And then the nice thing is I'm not in this antagonistic relationship with Bette anymore where we're fighting about she's with Jody, we've become friends, and you see us become friends at the end of last season, and we continue that friendship. Of course, I think couples can change, and I think they should change. and they have to grow together and they have to grow up and I, I think Tina grows up outside of the relationship. I think she was a little smothered inside of it but she has no one else to blame but herself for that because she was responsible for her growth. No one's really responsible for that but I think uh, I think uh, Bet has softened a lot and Tina has become more aggressive, more assertive and she really knows what fits now and what works and I think uh, Tina lost her identity you see that in first season especially when she had the baby and um, that's gone and I think the best thing about f fifth season for me is that Tina is just fully fleshed out and she's very alpha she's very aggressive um, she's put in these really crazy situations in the film industry, and so much of my storyline this year is about the film industry, and she's juggling that all the time, and it's a lot to juggle. And she's not the type of sharky personality persona, but she's found a way to be powerful in an industry that squashes women all the time. And it, she does it her way. I think the show is getting a lot of aspects of Hollywood right. One, I think we're really um, exposing the paparazzi, the magazines, what it means to be a new and upcoming star. And Kate French's character is kind of fascinating in this way of, um, it's just our whole obsession with celebrity. And I, and I think that's one of the things that we capture um, I think we also capture casting and how nasty the casting process is. And I, I beg to say this one line and when John Stockwell was directing because I had heard everyone hears a story about you audition for something and half the room, you know, you leave and some usually guy says, you know what, she's just not f***able. And Jenny really wants to cast this girl and Tina says it about this girl. And I, I just, I wanted to her as a woman to like just be as nasty as all of these guys and expose it.